we are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time you are some investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back i'll ask for returns for you to smash that like button tell me you watch this video helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort i put into making these videos so here we are with sofi sofi technologies inc now this stock has been beaten down after having some momentum gained from october and september towards november but we're going to break it all down in this video why it's falling i want you to understand the company just a little bit more but why this is a huge opportunity through the good and the bad in the long run if they can turn around a profit and actually go into the growth that they're expecting and their niche and sector continues to expand but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunities i mentioned this morning every single opportunity turned out to be a home run it was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you want to get on early with us check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we're going to jump right into it here with sofi technologies inc sofi stock so the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations and if you want to get on early with us every single morning we strive for opportunities like these every single day check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so these are the stocks i mentioned this morning every single one of them turned out to be a home run and we could see it here based off their charts we caught this one in the pre-market blu it was under a bull indicator 42 vision 2.0 showing strength and 42 vision and it gave a highest point of 25 percent plus guys then we caught bfri it gave nearly 15 percent in the pre-market as it continued with strength it was under a bull indicator 42 vision 2.0 and 42 vision strength shifted into a bear indicator slightly consolidated and started to take off with strength again on 42 vision 2.0 and that bull indicator giving a highest point of 35 percent plus and then we have sgma this is the one i was watching with caution and patiently to see if some of the momentum from friday rolled over to today it was in a downward trend under a bear indicator 42 vision 2.0 and 42 vision showing extreme weakness consolidated and in that quick shift of a 20 percent plus highest point of opportunity we got that bow indicator strength on 42 vision and 2.0 guys so if you want to get on early with us check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with sofi technologies inc and we're looking at it with 42 vision and usually when this starts to pop up eventually there is a reversal right it tried here it tried here and it's trying right now so you can actually see how weak it is and how these reversals are not coming with enough strength and i want you guys to see here how we're going to look at it with 42 vision 2.0 and ultimate 42 vision and where things stand and by the way you can gain access to the 42 vision indicators the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and by joining the 42 vision tier level you'll gain access to the daily watch list weekly watch list and a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and the premium indicators on maximizing on opportunities through the volatility in the markets with confidence due to the clarity that these indicators bring right so check out the 42 vision indicators down below in the description so you could see that it's been under a bear indicator extreme weakness and 42 vision 2.0 through the ups and downs right it has come back down and up up and down up and down up and down and this is just going in a straight path and this is how we know that confirmation with 42 vision 2.0 how these are fake outs and these can turn out to be bull traps if they do not reverse with real strength like we saw here and we also got a confirmation of a bull indicator there so this was the perfect trifecta of 42 vision 42 vision 2.0 and ultimate 42 vision giving that momentum strength so right now we're under a bear indicator on the 30 minute but when we really zoom out and look at this from the bigger picture there's been a lot of volatility it went up and went back down and when you zoom out completely right so let's go ahead and look at it here on the four hour you will see how every single time it has ended up around this area it tries to bounce now i'm not stating that's going to be the same case at these levels but this is definitely a level to be watching this stock and understanding that there could be a reversal eventually and if not if it breaks through the lows here of 13 dollars and even down here at 13 13 
13, 14, give or take. This could go into further weakness and retest the 52 week low of 1081 or probably new lows. And we're going to talk about why, right? So the bear indicator started way down here at the $22 mark. Then we got a slight bull indicator down here in the 15s and it went all the way up to 17 and we're under a bear indicator right now and in extreme weakness, just like the 30 minute, which this could form a reversal or continue this path if the weakness does continue and 42 vision 2.0 is confirming that things continue to look like red bars, right? There's no strength here. Things just look like they're going to continue in that direction. And if we put the one day, it will be an extra layer of confirmation to see that this has been under a bear indicator since way up here in the 22s. Look at that shift there on 42 vision 2.0 from green to red. It's been going downwards. And then we also are in extreme weakness. And the last time this came up, it went from 17 down to 14, almost a $3 difference and back to back a few days before trying to reverse. So this could continue to go lower. We need to see if it retests the recent lows of $13 and some change or breaks through it and how it fights within that area of $10 and $13. But let's talk about the bullish scenario and then also the bearish scenario, right? And the bearish scenario, in my opinion, is going to be a very temporary one. It could be six months to a year if things do not pick up for this stock. But this is going to be a huge opportunity way beyond what we can see in the charts or even experience or understand if this continues to grow in the niche that it's in and also what the company is doing. And that's what we're going to break down here in this video. So to start off, one of the biggest things that a lot of people are confusing this stock with is that it is more of a tech play. Okay, this falls under the fintech sector and not a bank sector because all the bank stocks will benefit from the rate hikes that are coming in the near future and higher interest rates. Now, could some of that fall into SoFi eventually? Maybe, right? Because it does do personal loans and other things like that of that sort with interest rates attached to it. We just have to see how much they'll benefit from this. And this is one of the biggest things a lot of people are forgetting. This does fall into the FinTech tech play then instead of a bank. That's how it's looked as right now. And that's going to always affect this stock when Omnicron pops up or even, you know, the Federal Reserve statements that is why these things are coming up and even any other variant right now we just got through this omnicron seems to be something that is not affecting the markets as much but rate hikes will and if this falls into the tech sector it could take a hit even further of what we see okay that's the bearish and worst part about this now this also states here what the bulls failed to grasp about sofi and when the stock started to fly higher there was a lot of news coming out that it was a surprise right to see the stock jump 12 percent on positive news but unfortunately it would not stay there for a few days only and it signaled a sharp downturn for the share prices because of everything going on and the growth in the company but it's not profitability just yet right if we go back over to this you could see that earnings was phenomenal right and if we go ahead and look at it from a quarterly perspective it's going on its way towards profitability. If this could turn profitable and turn a profit, it's going to be huge. And the only thing that could help it is if people keep using SoFi while interest rates are higher, giving SoFi something to lock in for possible growth in the future, right? Then they also saw a lot of different institutional investors and even part of the CEO of Social Capital Partnership, which is how SoFi went public, has sold 15% of his stake in the company. And since that announcement, the sell off dropped from $20 to around 16 and we're still going downwards. So this concretes the move and sounds the alarms right here as it states in this article that it's in the fintech world. Okay, and fintech is struggling and these institutional sell offs only fuel the narrative that there's a real trouble that exists. Now, that's based off of just the speculation that there is some trouble with so fine so forth and again i'm just here to share with you guys the good and the bad and we need to know the bad before we understand the good right so 
all of this looks pretty negative, right? And the company is looking pretty bearish. This is a huge opportunity to try to catch this at SPAC prices or below it for a company that is set to grow, guys. If this goes ahead, and yes, it's a fintech, but gets just a little bit of the benefits or gets looked as like any other bank because of those interest rate hikes and it's making a profitability and it's turning a profit instead of just being growth, but if not finally finding profitability quarterly and annually in the next few years, this is going to be explosive. And these price targets here are going to be nothing compared to where this could actually go. So the lower SoFi goes, the bigger the opportunity, but you need to remember that it is fragile and sensitive at the moment with tech stocks and tech growth stocks overall with the Fed's decisions. But it is getting on its way to turn a profit. If it could continue in that path, these numbers will be possible or possibly even higher. The lowest price target is $19, average is 25, and the highest 30. I believe there's way more room for this stock to grow. And the lower it goes, it's currently at 1442, the bigger this opportunity will become. But it falls under fintech, it is not a bank, but it does have the services like a bank, and it's going to be a huge move for this stock in the future. Now, one of the biggest things too that I saw in this article is that they had a lot of growth, okay, when it came to their personal loans and so forth right it said here personal loans grew by 166 percent in the third quarter year over year student loans and homes shifted a little bit less but as of now personal loans compromise half of the originations of its growth if this continues it's going to be huge but we also need to remember that sofi is probably getting a lot of loans actually requested because of low interest rates we need to see how this is going to get impacted by higher interest rates and how could this impact of possibly personal loans going down or maybe student and home loans going down a little bit that completely drastically change things of growth if not if they go down hopefully they can make it up in the interest rates that they're going to be charging due to the fact of interest rates rising and making more of a profit because of that even though this amount of loans starts to go down. So that's going to be another key thing to remember. Write these things down. You're going to want to remember this in the earnings calls and in the future because it's a fintech company that can actually eventually get treated not fully like a bank, but get some of the rewards the banks will get from higher interest rates and the growth in the company and also earnings quarter per quarter, year over year. And this is a huge opportunity. I'm not saying that this is anywhere near others in its sector, but it has a piece of the pie to grab and it is far from the top guys. These price targets are pretty reasonable and I could see this break through it if it could turn a profit and actually benefit and reap the rewards of higher interest rates going ahead and making that profit through their consumers, their customers, and their users as always guys if you want to receive clarity like no other check out the 42 vision indicator link down below in the description you'll gain access to the daily watch list weekly watch list and also a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and the premium indicators to have confidence within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities no matter what's going on and as always thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money